happen. Bloody mathematics can guide us to the truth. War is the best business ever, and history is written by the conquerors. It's now time to let the people be the conquerors, beginning with a silent revolution. So what can you do to change how the world is developing? Actually, not much. We, the zombies, are used to being directed to what we think we need. Human beings are machines. Levers which may be grasped and turned. And there is little real difference between automating a society and automating a shoe factory. But still, you want to change how the world is developing. First, you need to develop yourself into a self-thinking, self-sustaining person. This means that you are responsible for developing a number of skill sets. The first skill set you have to develop is your intelligence. The first step in becoming intelligent is the wish to become intelligent. You just have to say to yourself that you want to be intelligent. Then read, study everything that crosses your path and study the things that you think are important for the future developing of yourself and the world. The second skill set you have to develop is the ability to solve one's problems and the development of readiness for catastrophe. Example, if your radio breaks down, don't buy a new one, but try to repair it. The development of these skills will be crucial in the catastrophic world. Also, begin storing food and other stuff, like tools, toilet paper, soap, everything that will not perish. Books covering a wide range of practical information as well as entertaining books. Stockpiling toilet paper may seem exaggerated, but during wars people have been known to pay up to hundreds of dollars for just one roll. Simple stuff like teepee and deodorant bring the feeling of being human in times of despair and can be used for bartering. The third skill set is the development of defensive and offensive skills, both offline and online, to protect oneself from corrupt governments, but also criminals and profiteers. The rule of thumb is trust no one, share no information, and be honorable, always. Practice martial arts like Muay Thai, Krav Maga, Sistema, or others, of course. For a start in online protection, I will give you a summary of a document with the name Secret 020, which you can find on the internet. It's a document written by those twats from Anonymous. It's good, though. In the future, you probably may want to learn techniques to protect yourself online from authorities and criminals. Your safety depends mainly on two things protecting yourself from social hacking and technical hacking. Example, suppose you were born in a city called Nerdegrad. A lot of people use the name of the city they were born in as a password. Things like place of birth, date of birth, current address can be easily obtained by hackers 
simply looking at social media. A hacker will try to use your place of birth to crack your password, so you should only use random generated passwords containing uppercase as well as lowercase characters, and also numbers and other type elements like hyphen, commas, etc. This is necessary in case of a technical attack called brute force attack. This will give the computers of the hacker a hard time decoding it. Remember not to use plain words for passwords. These can be easily hacked with a dictionary attack. You have to realize that authorities and criminals from all over the world won't let any opportunity untouched if it's able to extract information from its citizens. One way of preparing for the catastrophic world is to train yourself in becoming a person with hacking skills. The first step in becoming this is to become totally anonymous. This can be achieved by using a VPN, proxies, or Tor, using at least Firefox web browser in private mode using extra secure layers or using I2P, anonymous email like Anonymous, and securing and encrypting your computer to the max. I will describe them in a moment. By the way, the best way of communicating anonymously is by not communicating at all. And if you need to practice your hacking skills, hack yourself or friends. Skiddies should stay away from big companies and governments. VPN A VPN is a virtual private network. It's like a relay station that encrypts your data so that if intercepted your traffic is unreadable. Use only VPNs that are located in countries with stable democratic legislation, like Iceland or Sweden. But only use commercial VPN and pay them with services that don't leave a trail, like Ucash. Popular money transfer services are never recommended. You must not only encrypt your data, you should also anonymize your computers and the parts that are inside your computer by changing the MAC addresses of the individual parts of your computer. Changing the MAC address is very important because even if your IP address is hidden, you can always be recognized by the MAC addresses in case your computer is taken by authorities. You can hide your MAC addresses by using programs like SMAC or TMAC. For anonymous communication with anonymous Nancys about anonymous idiotics, use IRC SSL port 6697 using vhost. Ignore trolls. Always. You think this is paranoia? Then you are probably not paranoid enough. Remember, everything that can be used against you will be used against you. And everything that can go wrong... For more information on this subject, visit the bloody site, or blog, or whatever. I am not even going to start talking about smartphones or other mobile devices. Just know one thing. Whenever possible, use a shielded hardline, protect your Wi-Fi, and keep one of those old telephone modems in your possession. Be paranoid. Malicious hackers, criminals, racketeers, Pirates and bad governments operate like thieves who want to break in. 
A good thief always checks the doors of his potential targets before he breaks in. He chooses the door that has the least amount of locks or the easiest locks to pick. This principle also applies to behavior. You will only be noticed if your behavior differs from your normal behavioral pattern. And it is these patterns that have to remain untouched in the new silent rebellion.